So the day is here. It's time to change the color of these wheels. This current bronze satin finish is just not going to mesh with my current style that I'm going with. So I'm going to change or temporarily change the color and I'll show you what I'm using. So let's jump in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider subscribing. I post automotive and some fun content from time to time. So subscribe and join along. For this project, I'm gonna be using this super wrap and I'm gonna do it in a gunmetal type finish, gloss this time. I think that's gonna complement the current style of the alpha. So let's see how it turns out. I'll take you through a quick little step-by-step -step and we'll see how this DIY turns out. First of all, let me say, sorry for the mess here. I'm kind of in the middle of reorganizing my garage but I wanted to get this video done because I am trying to get this done before the true spring car season. Um, so as you know, if you're gonna be painting anything, preparation is key. So I think I'm gonna be spending way more time getting these wheels cleaned and ready to go than the actual laying down of the paint and product um, as you should as well if you plan on doing this. Now, these wheels are probably or this type of design is gonna be the most annoying to work with, both when it comes to cleaning and making sure that you have enough coverage when you're putting down the paint. Um, that's just, it is what it is, and it makes for a more entertaining video, I guess, right? So I'm gonna do some more cleaning. I already did the exterior, typical kind of car wash, power wash, and I'm gonna go in a little more detailed, really get in the nooks and crannies of all these wheels uh, to make sure that it's good to go and there's no contamination prior to painting. Like I said before, I'm gonna just be wiping it down a little more detailed using this 70% isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna be using my shop paper towels and then I'm gonna go over it one more time with a white clean microfiber to make sure as a final test. All right, so I have this wheel ready to go and prepped. So you can see I went with the tape method and then I also covered the inner barrel of the wheel with tape and a trash bag. And I'll kind of show you how I did that. Um, so the only thing that is exposed, I still have to cover up the air nozzle. Um, and then I'm gonna throw some tape in the holes here and then it'll be good. And then I'm gonna just repeat that with the other three. Although I will try, I'm gonna try the card method around the spokes with one of the wheels just for kicks. So let's see. All right, so to get a rough cut, for these trash bags that I'm using on the back. I'm basically just measuring like that and cutting this off. That can go for whatever. And then open it up, get on the seam, and then just open it up. And then I use this top edge, the thicker edge, to tape to the barrel of the wheel. All right, so bear with me, I'm almost there at the final step. I'm gonna take this white microfiber with that rubbing alcohol and just go through all the little nooks and crannies one more time, just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. If you did it right, this should stay clean. So let's see if I did it right. All right, so to prep the air nozzle, I get a small piece of tape. This might be a little big. And in this wheel, it's a little tricky. You don't have a lot of room, so I kind of feed it down. And then I do, I tuck one end. And then bring the other one across. And then just kind of twist the top. And then I have one of my wrap tools to tuck. It's also what I did to clean. So I used a, you can see that I have some dirty spots, pretty bad. 
that's primarily from in here, which I couldn't get to without one of these actions, okay? So make sure to do that as well. But I did pick up some dirt and debris and brake dust, all that jazz. So now I think they are as clean as I'm gonna get without spending another day cleaning them. So let's get down to what you've been waiting for and that's putting down the paint and I'll show you the kit that I'm using. So if you don't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and catch all the fun content to come and let's get into painting. All right, here we go. I got all four wheels finally prepped. The fourth one, I'm doing the card method and we'll see how it compares. Um, I just had enough cards to do one wheel, so I figured I would try it. Definitely quicker setup, but you know, if I was doing this all day, I, I think I would definitely do this in terms of the setup, but I'm doing one set of wheels for myself and I went and used the tape. A little more time consuming, a little more expensive, but hey, let's see if there's a difference. All right, so here's the product. It is the Super Wrap, and it comes with the instructions, preparation, masking, base coat, color coat, clear coating, which is optional. I don't think I went with that. Unmasking, and there is the product. So this is the wheel kit. Um, let's see, and it's, so it comes with, I believe, three of the black base coat for this and four of the the color and it's going to be this what the heck's it called uh i forget what i ordered already it is the onyx the onyx color okay so four of the colors what else did i get here oh prep wipes one wipe well I don't even use these, I keep it for something else. Okay, so that's that. Let's get to spraying. All right, so I'm about to put down the sixth layer of the base coat, and I just want to review some things. So when you're painting, you want to make sure that you're changing the direction of which way you're applying the can and how you're holding the can just so that you cover all the aspects of the wheel. I will say I think I'm doing a pretty good job initially. Um, not my first time doing this. So definitely practice if you haven't used a spray can like this before and practice a light coat versus a wet coat off the wheel so that when you are ready to go you feel a little more comfortable with that so with the sixth layer i'm on my third can of the black base and there's really all the wheels are black there really shouldn't be any of the original color showing i'm going to double check to make sure that is the case before i put down the color coat All right guys, so I wanna go over a few pointers and tips that I've taken away from this project and hopefully it helps you out. So things you gotta get comfortable with are the speed that you're moving your hand with the can, the angle, the direction, and making sure that you're changing the angle and the direction uh, at each layer just so that you do get a nice full coverage of paint. 
Um, also, you may want to change up the order, you know, so left to right or right to left, just so that, you know, you're covering all the variables. In my case, I had a fan going um, and a window, so one of the wheels was closest to that, and I could definitely feel some air coming in from that, and that could impact how much is getting down on the wheel versus the other ones. Um, also changing your can before it gets completely empty that's going to help prevent any of the spitting and spotting and large droplets that you don't want to get on so I you can kind of tell as it gets lighter um, you want to stop before it gets too light too empty and definitely shake the can between each wheel um, and also I made sure to label which layer I was on and and practice if you don't you know if you don't feel comfortable using the paint right away do some layers some passes on some cardboard and get comfortable with the difference between wet and light coats just so that you know what you're doing all right so hopefully this helps let's keep going if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe give the video a thumbs up and let's see the final product All right, so here it is. The finished product is here. I got six layers of the base and six layers of the color. And I'm gonna take a squeegee and go around the edges to kind of cut at the paint or the, whatever the film is. And then I'm gonna slowly peel away at the tape and remove everything and see what the product looks like. So take your time. I'm gonna take my time and you're gonna get your best results that way. And then I'll give you a nice close up, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we go. They are done. They have dried for a bit over an hour. I demasked all of them. I'm gonna let them cure for multiple days. I think three to five days is what they recommend before you wash them. Luckily, I don't have to mount them and drive, so I, I'm gonna use that five-day mark just to make sure that they're mint before I start driving them, getting them wet, all that jazz. So let's see what they look like. Hopefully, you guys like them. So here we go, here's what the finished product looks like. They are unmasked, ready to go. Like I said, I'm gonna let them cure for a few days until before I mount them on the vehicle, but I freaking love them, looks good. I think it should go, I'm gonna, I think they're a little lighter than the factory OEM wheel color, um, but I kinda like that they're similar but a very different design, so the color doesn't have to be super different. It should go with the theme much better than the satin bronze that I had. And hopefully if I did it right, once I wanna go back to the bronze, I'll be able to just peel this right off and it won't be too much of a pain in the butt. But nice finish, I'm pleased with it. I like the color. I like that there's a contrast between the rubber and the wheel color you know black is great but i feel like it really gets lost sometimes so i like having this subtle kind of accent if you will all right so just to conclude i really do think the super rep is a good DIY product for you to give your wheels a temporary color change before you maybe powder coat them or do something that's more permanent to get a realistic idea of what they'll look like. And this is me showing the third wash and you can see I'm pointing out some of the imperfections already and some chipping and peeling. Um, but what can you do? I thought I cleaned them as well as I could, but I guess not. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.